Good morning, fourth graders. That is how you say good morning in American Sign Language. It's just Mayani here again today, and I'll be teaching your fourth and final Making Meaning lesson this week. Um, I didn't invite a stuffy conversation partner, but my cat has decided to hang out with us and join us for the lesson, so we'll see if he stays. Um, this week we've been reading the story Flight by Robert Burley, illustrated by Mike Wimmer and um, published by the Developmental Studies Center. We have been practicing giving reasons to support our opinions. We've been practicing using clues and inferences, and we've also been practicing determining what we think are the most important ideas. If you have your student response book, we're going to be using that again today. We're going to be looking at page 83, um, and we're going to be um, looking at just some excerpts from the story. An excerpt is just a part of the story. It's not the entire story. I'm going to reread one excerpt from the story and do some modeling for you, and then you're going to reread the second excerpt from the story and try practicing on your own. Okay. So this first excerpt is from the very beginning of the story. It is 1927 and his name is Charles Lindbergh. Later they will call him the Lone Eagle. Later they will call him Lucky Lindy. But not now. Now it is May 20th, 1927 and he is standing in the still dark dawn. He watches rain drizzle down on the airfield and on his small airplane. The airplane has a name painted on its side, Spirit of St. Louis. Lindbergh is nearly as tall as the plane itself, and yet he is about to attempt what no one has done before, to fly without a stop from New York to Paris, France, over 3,600 miles away, across the Atlantic Ocean, alone. He climbs into the box-like cockpit that will be his only home for many, many hours. He clicks on the engine. He listens as it catch catches, gurgles, and roars. A few friends are here to say goodbye. They are only a few feet away, and yet to Lindbergh, how far off they seem. They look up at him and wave. Good luck. Keep safe. So what I want to do first here is I want to find the sentence that um, really identifies what the main idea is. And when we did our think pair right, um, on day two this week, we determined that the main idea from the beginning of the story was that Lindbergh was going to attempt something that nobody had ever done, flying nonstop on his own from New York to Paris. Um, so I'm going to find the sentence that I think is the most important idea. And I think it is the se sentence that says, and yet he is about to attempt what no one has done before, to fly without a stop from New York to Paris, France. So in my notebook. I'm going to underline it. This sentence really expresses the important idea in this passage. The uh, sentence that says over 3,600 miles away this detail I'm also going to underline. It tells more about Lindbergh's flight and gives more detail about, what, about his experience. Facts, examples, and descriptions that tell more about or support the main idea or important idea are called supporting details. What other details in the passage support the idea that Lindbergh was going to attempt what no one had done before, to fly from New York to Paris? Take a minute to think about it and talk about it with your partner. Some possible details that I'll also underline could have been, I think, Across the Atlantic Ocean is a supporting detail. The reason I think this is that it tells more about the main point, which is that Lindbergh is going to fly from New York to Paris, which is across the Atlantic Ocean. I think that Lindbergh's height is a supporting detail. The reason I think this is that it's a description that lets the reader infer how big the plane is. So if he is the same height as a plane, it's not a very big plane. If you had some other important ideas, that's great. 
I encourage you to be continuing to find supporting details that help um, support your opinion and um, give evidence to what is the most important idea. So now I'm going to have you turn to page 83 in your student response book. You have another excerpt from the story. I'm going to reread this excerpt for you and I want you to read it along with me. And then we're going to do a think pair right to first identify se sentences that tell us the important idea and then we're going to look for supporting details. So here is the passage. From above, all Lindbergh sees are many, many small lights. Now he must concentrate on just one thing, the sod coming up to meet me. Closer, 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 the plane touches the ground. It bounces, rolls, hugs the solid earth. It is 1022 Paris time. The flight has taken 33 and a half hours. Thousands of people are running toward the plane. For a moment, Lidberg is dazed. It seems to him as if he were drowning in a great sea. People surround the plane, cheering, but Lindbergh can hardly hear them. His ears seem to have been deafened by the hours of roaring engine. Crowds pull him out of the cockpit. Men and women are calling his name over and over. They carry him on their shoulders. Others begin to tear pieces of the plane. More than anything else, Lindbergh wants to save the spirit of St. Louis. His first words are a question. Are there any mechanics here? But no one speaks English. Finally, two French aviators arrive to help him. Policemen guard the plane. The aviators take Lindbergh away from the still cheering crowd. In the airfield's hangar, he tells the story of his flight to the other pilots. The cramped cockpit, the aloneness, the long, long night. Meanwhile, unknown to Lindbergh, the newspaper headlines all over the world are beginning to blazon the news. American hero safe in Paris. What is an important idea in the part of the story that we just heard? Why do you think that idea is important? Do you think others would agree that this is an important idea? Why or why not? Some possible sentences that you might have underlined would be when the plane touches the ground um, and maybe newspaper headlines all over the world are beginning to blaze in the news um, because these details tell us the most important idea that Lindbergh made it across the Atlantic Ocean. So if you feel like you underline details that, um, that really express the important idea of Lindbergh making it across the Atlantic Ocean safely, then those would be idea, uh, details that identify the most important idea. So what are some supporting details and what idea do you think this detail supports? Some things you might have underlined are closer, closer, closer is a supporting detail. Uh, the reason I think this is that it supports the idea that he's about to land. His landing is important, but this just describes the plane's movement. So it's not the most important idea, but it helps support the main idea. You might have also underlined policemen guard the plane, which is a supporting detail because it doesn't have anything to do with Lindbergh's flight. It just tells what happened after he landed. So this is um, just a supporting detail to the main idea. So if you found other important ideas and supporting details in the excerpts, that is great. Um, what we've, to kind of reflect and summarize, what we've been doing this week is really talking a lot about important ideas and supporting details. Now that we've thought about some of the important ideas, what would you say this story is about?
Some possible responses might be that this story is about Charles Lindbergh's flight across the Atlantic Ocean, that um, it's about Lindbergh becoming a hero around the world. Um, you might say that it's about how Lindbergh made history by flying from New York to Paris by himself. Those sentences all would capture the main idea. So the reading comprehension strategy that I want you to start practicing and focusing more on is determining important and um, ideas and supporting details. So I'm going to point you to that in my reading comprehension chart, my reading comprehension strategies card chart. And as you're reading your um, independent texts, I want you to be noticing what are the most important ideas? What are supporting details that help um, support that, support your opinion?